Welcome to Texas El Paso, home of the Sun Bowl. The Sun Bowl today will host first round South Region action of the first 32, a 32 team playoff, college football playoff. Your combatants today is number two seeded Texas versus number seven seeded Florida. They both come into this game looking to prove something. Neither one has had that great of a regular season. All aided by EA Sims. When we've had a chance to actually sit down and see these guys play, they have been anything but stellar. All eyes will be on the Florida Gators prototypical quarterback, Jeremy Everson. Everson has not shown up in any of the big games that they have played and thus is the reason for their 7-5 and five, uh, standings. So here we go, Texas, Florida. Will Jeremy show up? Will Texas great receiving core show up? There's going to be a lot of fireworks here in Texas, El Paso. Enjoy the game. So after the touchback, Jeremy Everson will come out for the first time and see what he can do with his Florida Gators. And that's going to be a handoff to Beck, and Beck gets the first down. First play of the game goes for a Florida first down. So all this talk about the great throwing at Everson, they actually just go right off the bat and hand off, and they get a first down. Back to Beck, nice hole. Beck's going to take it out to about the 45-yard line. So Florida moving the ball. She's going to set up a second and two here for Texas. Everson back under center. Hand off and again to Beck. Good hole again. Good blocking up to the 49. First down, Florida. So Florida trying the steady pro approach. ANFL teams, look at Everson. He can hand off the ball. Wide receivers to the right, tight end to the left. Another hand off to Everson. Another, there, oh, there was blocking. Middle, uh, the outside linebacker actually did beat his block and stopped Beck from getting to the corner, but it just slowed him up. Beck was still able to get five yards on the carry. Second and five, Everson in the shotgun for the first time today. Looks, delayed handoff to Beck. Beck breaks one tackle, gets back to the line of scrimmage, and goes down. Going to set up a third and five for Florida from the Texas 46-yard line. Everson. Four wide, bunch set, drops back, looks, there's pressure. He gets it off, but it is incomplete. I gotta tell you right now, if I that whole short arming by the wide receiver is a little disconcerting. Everson stayed in the pocket, threw the ball, got absolutely blasted, but just wide receiver just could not catch the ball. I, I it was there. It's unfortunate. Here's a pump by Florida trying to pin him back. They're not gonna pin him back. So the ball's gonna go right out of the end zone. So who's it going to be for quarterback? It looks like it's going to be backup Kaleeb Howell. Starting quarterback uh, Aaron, Aaron Lawson is at... Oh, look at this. Anytime I try to provide backup, there's always a big play. A 17-yard run by running back Robert Sanders. Anyways, to get back to the story, the first-string quarterback fractured his arm week. 11 versus Baylor and has been out ever since. It has been Kaleeb Howell in relief. Kaleeb Howell, uh, we saw him in the Red River shootout against Oklahoma. He was average at best, um, but finally ended up losing in a close effort there, 23-20. As Lawson got hurt in that one too. All right, third and six for Texas. Howell in the shotgun next to Sanders. Al drops back. He looks. A little pressure in his face. He throws. It's complete, but it's going to be short of the first down. Setting up a fourth and six. So both teams have had to punt on their first drives after getting about 20 yards. So Everson's going to be back on the field. We'll see where he gets it. Ball's taken, and it is up to the 
25 yard line. That's free safety Willie Hall receiving punts. You don't see free safeties very often receiving punts, but uh, that was Florida's best return man. Everson in a pistol formation. Hand off to Beck. Beck's going to go up the middle, run over one man, get five yards on a very decent first down play. Five yards plus is always what you'd like to see in first down. Once again, same formation. This time flip to the other side. Handoff is to Beck. He's got a trailer who's going who's gonna to get him in the backfield, but uh, Beck sh shrugs him off and finally gets hit and taken down by the safety. Third and three for Everson in the shotgun. Handoff is to Beck again. He gets the first down, down across the 40-yard line. Nice play there. Beck, eight rushes, 46 yards here in this first quarter, and it looks like Florida has decided to commit to the run. And that's going to be false start on the offense. Not good. Not good at all. Backs them up first and 15. Does this... Do they still run the ball, or this time do they try to go to the air? It's going to be a run, and it's going to be a quarterback read play as Everson keeps it. I don't like those type of plays, especially with a prototypical pro quarterback. I'd rather you just throw the ball or just hand it off to Beck. I don't care which. Another quarterback read. There's Everson again. Everson's going to get down to the 42-yard line. And it's going to be a third and long, third and nine. The Florida Gators are going to be facing. I really do wish you take those quarterback reads out of the game when you've got this slow of a quarterback. Everson, a shotgun. Drops back. He looks. It's going to be a little screen play, and that's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And that is a big... Big old Dominique Baker with the tackle. That's a defensive tackle getting out there to make to, to stop that screenplay. So once again, move the ball, pick up a first down punt. So far, this uh, caught on the sidelines and he's down to 29. So far, this what we had thought was just going to be a pass fest, fireworks fun. Has been nothing but a ground and pound Big Ten game, basically. Howell drops back. He's going to hit his man over the middle. That's running. That's running back Sanders with a catch. No, that's Rico Smith. I don't know when he got in there. That's a, that's the backup halfback. Howell back in the same formation. Drops back. He looks. He's looking. He's got pressure. He's going to have to do something with it, and he finally goes down. The one thing you got to watch out with backup quarterbacks is their decisions. Not only their decisions of where to throw the ball, or when, but when to throw the ball. Feeling the heat, you got to either get out of the pocket and throw the ball away, or just take it up the middle and try to see how much yards you can get. Taking a sack on first down, especially one that drops you back seven yards, really will hurt any drive. Howell goes to throw again. He's looking. He throws, and that is almost picked. But Calvin Larson, one of these great receiving threats, just pulls it away from the defender and picks up a good 11 yard, 12 yards on the play. Howell throwing on third and four. He throws. He connects, and that's Ryan Payne on the reception. Down to the Florida 42-yard line. Texas is going to go hurry up. And they're going to keep... Now, here comes the fireworks, folks. Man in motion. And that's going to be a handoff to Smith. Smith is going to get the first down on that one inside the 30-yard line. And if you're Texas with this great receiving talent, this is what you want to do. You throw the ball to set up huge gaping runs. There's Smith again. Another big gaping hole. First down inside the 20-yard line for Texas. This is exactly what you want to be doing if you're Texas. Exactly what you want, want to be doing as Texas. They're going to throw the ball this time. 
They're going to run an option pitch play to Smith. Smith is going to take it down around the 12 yard line. Bunch formation to the right. Larson all alone down at the left of your screen. Howell drops back. He looks. He throws up to the right, and that is going to be Mark Jackson for a touchdown. Texas scores the first points of the Sun Bowl in this first round matchup against Florida. It is 7 0. That is just an absolute beautiful throw to a wide open man. Beautiful route run. Just. Florida just cannot get to get to him. And that is just beautiful. That's all I can say. Absolutely beautiful. This receiving core is good. From their number one receiver down to, to the number four receiver when they put him in. So as a as a defense, you're looking basically at your nickel and dime corner who are normally youngsters and not as good. You're just hoping. That they can do something, and there's there, that's Hall or Hall out to after the 30 yard line. So he gives his Florida Gator some breathing room here with 2:05 left to go. The fireworks have start. Ken Everson fire back here. Two tight end set, one wide receiver split out to the left. Handoff goes to Beck as they can continue trying to run the ball, which has worked in the first quarter. It's just not getting them. Where they want to go. They're getting first downs, first downs, but they're not getting into scoring range. And that's where you want to be. Everson drops back. It's going to be a draw to back and back. I that's got to be a face mask, right? That has got that they're they are not going to call face mask. Texas is lucky. That could have been 15 yards and a first down. Now, as it is, it starts off third and three for Everson. Bunch formation. Josh back, and that is going to be caught to Jason Bryant. All right, tight formation, four wide receiver tight formation is what that is, not a bunch. Bunch sets, uh, three wide receivers, or two wide receivers and a tight end to one side. I do know my football, just sometimes it doesn't come out. Two tight ends set, eye formation. Everson, handoff to Beck. This time no one's going to seal the corner, and Beck is going to be taken down at the Texas 40-yard line.
second and 13. up second and one. Brings up second and one. Sorry, folks, we've had some audio difficulty. It's been fixed. Everson lining up from the from Texas 42 yard line. Hand off to Beck. They're continuing to, now this this time to, to Arthur Parker, their backup, continuing to pound that rock. They are running the ball and running it well. Tight formation. Four wide receivers. Everson's going to drop back. Everson delivers the ball. Arthur Parker is wide open, and Everson just cannot connect. That is unfortunate. That is an unforced error because he should make that pass every single time. Setting up a third and three from Texas 35-yard line. Man in motion. Everson drops back, throws, quick throw, and that's going to be Bryant on a 12-yard catch. I think that's his second catch of the day, third catch of the day, actually. And he's down to the 24. Everson hasn't been called on to do much, but when he, uh, when he has, he's been all right. Calling out the signals. Handoff is to Beck in this time. He's going nowhere. Texas is done with this running game. He, they are absolutely done with this running game. Man just got just came up through the gap and met back two yards in the backfield. Everson shotgun. Drops back. Bryant's down at the bottom of the screen. The throw is to Ramsey's, and Ramsey's going to catch. A six-yard pass, and that's going to set up a third and six. One chunk at a time. When you're looking at second and long, you're looking just to get one little chunk at a time to give you this look right here. Ramsey's at the bottom of the screen. Brian to the top, and that is going to be Daryl Cook, neither of the two. He's going to be short of the first down, and we're going to see the kicking team again to cut this lead to one. So we got three minutes to go in the half. Florida looking to cut the lead to one. Here's the kick. It's up, and it's good. Right down the center of the goalpost, folks. Can't get it any non-dramatic than that. 7-6, 2.52 left to play. 
I believe that's Williams up. Is going to take that kick and get to the 22. This time he had to fill it, field it, and won't get up to the 25-yard line. Howell in the shotgun. Sanders, it's going to be quarterback Reed. Howell's going to keep it, and he's going to get just a couple yards on that play. They're going to run their hurry up. They uh, they haven't done much since the fireworks started. The fireworks have sort of gone away. I think it was very deflating, and Howell's going to keep that, that ball. It's been – hurts a little bit. You get that huge long pass – to, Ty, to, to Tyrone Washington, and you can't do anything with it. Wind up having to punt. That hurts. Howell dropping back. It has all day. Goes downfield. Throws, and that's Tyrone Washington. Cannot handle the ball. Thrown into triple coverage. Tyrone Washington tries to make a great play and just cannot hold on to the ball. So Florida will get the ball back with two minutes left to go. Take a little look at the stats. And right now, stat-wise, Florida is leading. But Texas is up by one. The reason for that is Florida has had to kick two field goals when they've gotten down inside the red zone. Not being able to punch it in for touchdowns will hurt you. Everson drops back. He looks. He throws. And that is going to be Travis James on a nice little route, 14-yard reception. Brian Ramsey's at the bottom of your screen. Travis James at the top of your screen. Everson drops back, looking down, and that is going to be the tight Carlos Dowell, the fourth wide receiver. I thought it was the tight end. That's a good eight-yard completion. Minute 34 left to go. Time is ticking down. Florida seems in a little bit of a non-hurry here. Travis Washington to the top. Brian to the bottom of the screen. Ramsey's in the slot. Everson all day throws, and he throws to his halfback back, who cannot hold on to the ball. 119 left to go, third and two. Got to pick up this first down, and then you can take a timeout. Back in the backfield, Pistol, they're going to hand it back, and Beck is going to be brought down in the backfield. Despite getting a one yard, he did get clipped in the backfield, but he fell forward for a yard, and it's going to be a Florida punt. I would go for it. I would run this thing down. To, I, I, I would run this thing down to about 35 seconds, just call a timeout, and then go for it. Uh, is not what Florida is going to do. Florida is going to punt the ball away. There is the punt. And, of course, it goes into the end zone for a touchback. 34 seconds left to go. Texas gets it on their own 20. The question is, how are they going to proceed from here? They have, of course, the best wide receiving core in the nation. Are They They are going to throw the ball. There's the throw, and that's the tight end. The tight end runs over, man. That's Calvin. That's actually the wide receiver, Calvin Washington, or Larson. I'll be – I will be. Big boy. At a, a big boy just shoves his man aside. Calvin Larson is one of the standouts of this team. My fault for not recognizing him. And Texas gets the ball at the 41-yard line. They're going to keep on throwing the ball. Here it is. There's some pressure, and he goes down. He goes down. The free man. There was a free man released on the Florida side, and that's big old 96, Maurice Jackson, who actually came in from the back. Halfback, come pick him up. More pressure in, in Howell's face. Howell's going to try to run the ball and move the pocket, and it's not going to work as he's going to be sacked again. And they, they're they letting the clock run. No timeout this time. Don't even snap the ball. Don't even snap the ball. Ten seconds. There we go. And it looks like we are going to go into halftime. 
Oh, they're going to snap it anyways. Looking deep. The throw over the middle. And he cannot hold on to it. So we expected fireworks. We've gotten some. But not many fireworks. And what we what we thought would have been the score after halfway through the first quarter is the score halfway through the game. Texas 7, Florida 6. It's been a very, very good game. No mistakes. You've seen the defense step up and make plays when they've had to and shut down the offense. The biggest thing is right there. Got, when Texas got into the red zone, they completed a touchdown pass. When Florida's gotten into the red zone, they haven't been able to, to, to punch it in. So here we go, folks. Second half starts. Number two, Texas, seven. Number, si number seven, Florida, six. And the first, and Tyrone Anderson takes it out of the end. Zone. Tyrone Anderson's going to be hurt. So we'll see what happens there. So far, he, he oh no, Tyrone Anderson must have been shaking up because he's back in there. Five wide set. Fake on the run. Good pickup on the blitz. And that is down the sidelines. Leon Robinson. Looked like he got his one foot down. This was first catch of the day. He will. They're going to hurry up just in case. Beautiful throw. Beautiful catch. Back in the five wide set. Howell calling out the signals. Howell fakes again. Another nice pickup. Wide open. I don't know who that is. Mark Jackson. That's who that is. Wide open was Mark Jackson for another long play. And they're going to hurry up, probably do the five wide set again, and throw to another guy I don't know who. Another fake run. Blitz from the right side. Throw over the middle. And that is Ryan Payne. So, so far, three plays, three passes, three different receivers from the five wide set. And in 19 seconds, Texas has driven basically the length of the field and now is first and goal from the five. Howell throws. Oh! <laughs> Tries to get it. And he just caught a ball a little while ago, and I can't remember who it is. And he can't hold on to it. Great commentating. That's what you expect here. Tyrone rushes into the bottom of his screen. He's Howell's throw, and he's going to throw out. He's going to throw out of the back of the end zone. I think Howell might have had Mark Jackson back of the end zone, but it was a good throw out of everybody's way, not forcing an interception. Third and goal from the five. Howell drops back. He looks. He's looking. He throws over the middle, and that is Mark Jackson in the middle of the end zone for a touchdown. This time he did try to force it in there on third and five, or on third, third and goal from the five, and this time he got it there. Safety just... Actually, that's a uh, DB. Cornerback uh, just a little late getting over there after the slant. And Texas increases its lead to eight. Texas 14, Florida 6. And that is a 33-second drive. 78 yards, 33 seconds. This is the fireworks we thought we were going to see in the first quarter. Hall takes it out of his end zone. He's going to get up to the 25, of course. Why not? Let's, for, uh, let's risk fumbling, holding, clipping. Let's risk all that. Just to get to the same place I could if you just kneeled the ball. Just trying to pad some kind of return stats. Everson throwing on first down. They had a blitz. It's a good pickup. And the pass is caught by Anthony Brooks for six yards. Second and four from the 26-yard line. Everson drops back. The handoff is to Beck, and Beck takes it three yards. Third and one. Good running on the day. They, they have been committed to it. If Texas continues their fireworks, they may have to pull off of the running game, but for now they can still run, so they probably should run. Handoff is to Beck. Texas is not having any of it, and is, he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. 
So Florida committed to the run. This time it looks like Texas committed to stop that run. Here's a pump by Florida. Taken by Williams back at his 28. Gets up to the 41-yard line. So Texas only took three plays to go seven. Well, it only took three plays to drive most of the field. And then took three plays to, to basically get the final five yards. It took Florida three plays just to punt it back to Texas. Fake handoff by Howell. He will hit Leon Robinson after a eight-yard catch. Texas going no, no huddle. Line up again. Handoff is to Robinson. Robinson up to the 44. Sorry, it's Rico Smith. I guess Robinson's out now. I have to look at, at what happened to him, but commentator always on the ball, right? Actually, I think it's his commentator is the last one to figure out what's going on. Fake handoff to Smith. Little dump off pass. Oh! <laughs> And the DB, Leon Washington, just puts down his shoulder and runs over a hall. That's got to hurt. Tyrone Washington lined up in the slot at the top of the screen. And they're going to throw this time back to Leon Robinson. So they're really enjoying the inside receivers here. Leon Robinson and Tyrone uh, and Mark Jackson. Tyrone Washington at the bottom of the screen. That's going to be a quarterback keeper, and it's going to be down to the 16-yard line. Howell doing a good job moving the ball with his arm and his legs. Tyrone Washington at the bottom of the screen, flanked by Leon Robinson. That's where Howell's looking. He's going to look back off to the left and just throw it out of bounds. Very, very good decision-making by the backup quarterback, Howell. Handoff goes to Smith. Big gaping hole. He's going to be down to the five-yard line before anybody hits him. Huge hole. Beautiful run. And it is first and goal from the four-yard line. Larson. Wide receiver all alone off to the left. It's going to be a quarterback read. It's going to be given to Smith, and he's going to fight his way, but un, not uneventful to no avail. There you go. To no avail gets hit before he can get to the line of scrimmage. Texas, second goal from the five-yard line. That's Larson up at the top of your screen all alone. Tyrone Washington at the bottom. Inside slot is Mark Jackson. He throws, and this goes to the, tie, to the tight end, Ryan Payne. I named just about every wide receiver but him because he's a tight end. Good job. Touchdown. And that is going to increase Texas' lead to 15. 21-6. Texas leads, and now Texas is rolling. 450 left to go in the third. You could, if you really wanted to, you could still stick and try to keep the run game going. Texas has been cracking down on it. Hall takes it out of his end zone. Gets past, gets it up to the 20-yard line. Congratulations, it's five yards shorter if you, uh, than you would have gotten if you just would have kneeled on the ball. Florida Gators will start on their own 20-yard line, down 15. 447 left to go in the third. They're going to still commit to the run. That's Beck. Beck shuts off the middle linebacker, but gets a little bit farther, so it's going to be second and three. Good seven yards. Good seven yards. You don't have to come off that run game, but you need to throw in some pass plays because they are keying on that run. Hand off to Beck. Beck takes it up the hole. Nice hole down to the 43-yard line. Everybody on Florida's offensive line picked up the blocks and made a nice hole for Beck. So they have not come off that run. Watch for – oh, almost jumped off sides. Hand off to Beck. Beck takes it off tackle and is going to be caught – before he can really get to the edge, but does get his three does get three yards on that. Right 
Everson in the pistol. There's a handoff to Beck. Beck's going to find another hole. He's up and up past the 40-yard line to the 43-yard line of Texas. All Oh, that's Arthur Parker. Sorry about that. Beck, Arthur Parker, doesn't matter. The, all these plays have been runs. Just a constant running the ball down Texas' throat. Handoff back to Parker. Parker cuts it inside. There was nothing outside. Cut it back inside. Lucky to get a yard. Texas had some good penetration on that play. Penetration will just blow up any kind of run play. Actually, penetration will blow up just about anything besides a screen. Tight formation. Everson dropping back. He looks. He throws. And he's got Ramsey's over the center. And that is going to – he's going to be down at the – 34 yard line and it's going to be third and one diamond formation looks like they're going to go back to the run play they are going to run the ball big hole and Beck gets it down to the 22 yard line so Florida first and 10 from the 23 trying to come back here down two scores 240 left to go in the third quarter Everson's going to drop back, roll left. He's going to throw back, and that is Travis James with a catch down inside the 10-yard line. Very nice play. Good route run, wide open. Good strike right there to Travis James. Rolling left. You're going to throw against your body across the field. That's not really good, but eh, if it's a design play, you can catch the linebacker's roll and leave a nice hole for the wide receiver to be in. That's going to be a, a read. That's going to be a handoff to Beck, and Beck's going to be down to the five-yard line. Could have been more than that. Seemed to run into his uh, seemed to run into his offensive lineman. Second goal from the six. They have six yards to try to cut this thing to one touchdown ball game. Handoff to Beck. Beck's got the corner. He's in for the touchdown. Gives a high five. Oh, that's Arthur Parker. I'm sorry. They they. They subbed him out, but Arthur Parker gives a nice high five to the Texas defender as he goes into the end zone. This field goal will put it to within eight, and it is good. Two minutes left to go in the third. Texas 21, the Florida Gators 13. Here's the kickoff. It's going to be a short kickoff. Williams is going to take it about his set. That's not Williams. I don't know who that is. Oh, that, that's Tyrone Wash Anderson. So, Texas will get the ball at the 25-yard line. Larson up at the top of the screen. Tyrone Washington at the bottom of the screen. Are they going to go for a home run ball right off the bat? The throw, they're going to kick it out to Payne. They're tied in. And Ryan Payne picks up the first down on first down. Nothing better than getting five yards plus on first down unless you're going to pick up the first down. That's uh, Tyron Washington in motion. He runs a little dig route, but they're going to kick it out to Smith. Smith's going to be down. Smith is going to fumble. Did he fumble the ball? He just didn't go down. He just did not go down. We are going to take a look at this in a second here. So here's the throw out to Smith. Smith is going to get hit, and he's just going to be resting on a defender. And then it's going to be that knee right there. You can see he is still on the defender and can get up. But when he tries to get up, he finally hits his knee right there. That was a good spot by the ref. We're right back. First down. That's a big handoff to Smith. And Smith runs for a first down. Man, Texas can move the ball fast when they want to. There's Tyrone Washington in between two wide receivers. He's going to throw it out and just overthrows Larson on the sidelines. Larson had his man beat. But Lawson could not bring the ball down enough. Lawson's going to be the only wide receiver out to the left. Tight end Payne's going to be in motion. Here's the snap. He looks. He throws. going to find Smith out of the backfield. He gets upended. 
getting fumbled, and that is going to be Mark Jackson who recovers the fumble for Texas, averting disaster. The completion, he tries the hurdle, gets way upended, kicks the ball forward, and it is Mark Jackson who's going to actually land on the ball. I'm going to take another look at this big hit, the big fumble, and the big recovery by Mark Jackson. So, Texas first down and 20, which after what may be the play of the game. Handoff to Smith up the middle, found a hole, and he's going to be down at about the 10-yard line, setting up second in inches for Texas. So, Mark Jackson and Larson at the top of the screen, and Tyrone Washington at the bottom. They're going to hand off here, and that's going to be Smith. Smith just needed inches, and all he got was a inch more than inches. Setting up first and goal from the nine. Remember, Florida's had problems punching it in. That is the difference in this game. Will Texas be able to punch it in? Oh, and that is just beautiful. As Hall meets the man at the line of meets Smith at the line of scrimmage and takes him down. That's Derek Hall. Haven't been able to call his number. I think he's gotten one sack on so far on the day. Florida's defense has been very quiet in the second half. That's a quarterback read. Florida safety comes up and meets Hall after about a three-yard gain. Very good play. As it now sets up. Third and goal from about the five-yard line. Bunch formation. Larson all alone at the top. Larson beats his man, but he can't see him. Howell throws over the middle, but just will throw this one away. So Larson got a free release up top. Howell wasn't paying attention. He was, he was more looking at the bunch formation. Nobody got lost in the crowd. Beautiful as a Florida defensive, defensive backs split uh, uh, appropriately. Uh, split off and, and guarded everyone getting the outside, middle, and inside. So now Texas up 24 to 13. And we actually see Hall take a knee. Uh, I'm going to applaud that. Thank you, Hall. And no muss, no fuss. Everson gets the ball at the own 25 with just 11 seconds left to go in the third. Everson hands off to Beck. Good hole there. He gets about seven yards up to the 20, up to the 32-yard line. That will be the final play of the third quarter. Number two seeded Texas, number seven seeded Florida, just separated by 11 points. It has been a very hard-fought game. Florida needs to come down and score off this drive to make this thing to, to make sure that this stays as close as it's been and keep this game exciting. Everson in the shotgun back to by his side, second and three. He's looking to throw in. He's gonna be pressured right there, and that's that is a good sack right there by Texas. It's exactly what they needed to do is a stunt from the defensive tackle. Comes around and hits Everson just as he is trying to deliver that ball. If Everson can just get the ball off, we're looking at third and three. Now we're looking at third and 11. Huge play there. Everson drops back. He looks. He throws to the side, and it's going to be caught by Travis James, but he is going to be short of the first down. Travis James does not run his, his route to the sticks. Setting up a fourth down. Here we go. Big conversion here. I think Florida's basically saying this is the game right here, right now. Everson drops back. All he needs is a little pass. He's going to go deep, and that's going to be Travis James again. And that is a big throw, big catch, and we are looking at first down inside Texas territory. Beautiful. All right, so here we go. First down at the 21-yard line, Everson. Empty backfield. Drops back. He looks. He throws. He's got a little short dump off to Ramsey's. He's down to the 12-yard line. Set up a second and one. 
on the Texas 12-yard line. Florida down by 11, trying to cut into that lead. Emerson under center. Looks like they're going to go to Beck. Tight end in motion. Hand off to Beck. Beck's going to take it through a hole. He's going to get down to the five-yard line. First and goal for the Florida Gators from the Texas six-yard line. Close enough. High formation. Got to think they're giving it back to Beck. Everson tries to draw someone off sides. There's Beck. Good hole. Big pickup. Gets the corner, and that is a touchdown for the Florida Gators. Tony Beck takes it in for about six yards and has cut the lead of the Texas Longhorns here with 6-12 left to go in the game. They are going to try for two. Travis James, the lone wide receiver at the bottom. You got, you had a bunch of formation. They're going to send their tight end in motion. Drop him back. There's their tight end. He's going to be short of the end zone, trying to hope that he runs it in. But that dude is not getting in. Texas just completely swarms him. And here's the kickoff to Williams. Williams is going to take it five yards into this end zone, and he will kneel it. I will applaud again. Get the ball out. No muss, no fuss up to the 25-yard line. Got to love it. 25 yards for just taking a knee. How? Oh, with a five-point lead for Texas. Going to hand off the ball to Smith. And Smith is going to be met in the backfield. And that is Derek Hall again. Making his presence felt. And the Florida Gators defense... Is trying to step up here to get their offense the ball again. How? Second and 14. Dropping back. Got a little pressure, man. His face delivers it to Payne, and Payne's going to get the first down. Ryan Payne, the Texas Longhorn tight end, picks up a very important first down. Is now at his first down on their own 35 yard line. Howell, little inside handoff to Rico Smith. And once again, the Florida Gators are there to snuff it out. Florida getting a lot of penetration so far on this drive. Howell, pistol formation. Smith in the backfield. Good penetration there. The throw downfield and overthrows Larson and it hits the sidelines. Third and 11. The Gators are trying to force a punt. Here we go, for Mark Jackson in the slot. They're looking for Mark, and he just barely misses it. Howell throws to Mark Jackson, who's been, who's been clutched so far this game. And it's going to fall incomplete. As now Texas is going to have to punt the ball to the Gators, and the Gators will have a chance to take the lead. Hall takes it at his own 25, gets just about nowhere, and gets down to the 30. So Jeremy Everson, 5.15 left to go in the game. It's not do or die time, but man, would it be good if you were able to punch it in. Three tight end overload. Hand off to Beck. Beck's got a little bit of a crease, and he'll get four yards. They have decided to take Everson basically out of the ball game. They're just he hasn't shown up in big games, and they're just gonna keep running the ball. There's a pass, good pass, good throw, and Rams and and not Ramsey's, but um, I'm sorry, Bryant. Bryant drops the ball. It would have been a first down. That's not Everson's fault. He threw it into that tight window. Travis James goes James Tra, Travis James goes in motion. He's going to throw it this time short and that's going to be Ramsey's but he's going to be short of the four, first down by inches. And if if Florida doesn't go for it, they went for it on third and on fourth and four, but they will not go for it. They're going to punt the ball away on fourth and inches on their own 40-yard line. That's Williams. Williams is going to get it up to the 30-yard line. So the Gator defense is going to have to come back out and stop them again. 
which is it's unfortunate. I, I think they should have gone for it. They went for it before. I think Beck would have got him the first down. Smith takes it through a nice hole for nine yards down to the 39-yard line. Texas is going to run no huddle. Hopefully, they're smart enough to take a little bit of time off the clock. What they really need, they just need really a field goal. And that's, that's going to be a quarterback keeper. It's going to be first down. Texas defense has been playing so well that an eight-point lead, you know, with a minute or minute and a half left to go should actually carry them through the game. Because even if they get the touchdown, they shouldn't be able to get the two-point conversion. Once again, Howell's going to keep it, gain five yards, and keeping it on the ground. Trying to run that clock down. They should try a little bit more by only snapping it with about 10 sec under 10 seconds left to go on the play clock. They're not because that's their offense. Fake smoke route. The throw. And that's it. Lawson. Lawson. Actually, Leon Robinson. Sorry. Number 85, Leon Washington. Catches the ball. They had a little fake smoke route going. And Leon Washington slips behind his defenders and a nice 20-yard completion there by Howell. Down to the 31. Another quarterback read. Quarterback keeper. Howell gets a first down inside the 20-yard line down to the 18-yard line. Crucial now that they just take a deep breath. Run this clock down. They're not. This is one of, the, this is one of those things I don't like. This is our offense. We're going to keep running it. That's basically the way it is. Howell throws it almost picked off. He tried to go to Larson. The safety came over for help. And it almost gets picked off. I tell you what, you are in a big time game. You've got to make those plays if they're going to give it to you. Lars Howell this time keeps the ball and he is going to fall forward. I thought he got the first down. He won't. It's going to call for a third in inches. Florida safety is going to be kicking himself on that one as he had it in his hands and just dropped it. And here we go. This time, he's running down the clock this time. 2.50 left to go in the game. This is a big third down conversion. Probably going to give it to Smith or another quarterback read, possibly. Hand off right to Smith. He's got a hole. He's got the first down. And it is going to be first and goal from the Florida Five with 2.38 left to go in the game. Hollison's man in motion. That's actually Mark Jackson. Watch for Mark Jackson. They've been going to him in important situations. They're going to hand off, and Smith is going to be stuffed just before the touchdown. Looks like he's going to be shaken up there. So here we go. Second and goal from the one-yard line. Texas trying to bash it in there. Florida's got to stop him. They have to stop him. Two minutes left to go in the game. They cannot come back and two scores with two minutes left to go. Stop, six, five, four. Here's going to the snap. Here's a handoff. And Florida meets Smith in the backfield and will take their first time out with a minute 42 left to go. Sanders strained shoulder. So Smith's in the backfield, goal line, handoff to Smith. Smith is going to bring it in, and that is going to be a Texas touchdown, bringing Texas to the second round. Beautiful game. That was a, that was a great game, an absolutely great game. And it's going to be a 31-19 Texas lead. And I don't think there's anything Florida can do from it from here on out. Hull will kneel on the ball in the end zone so that they can get it out of the 25-yard line. They have basically dealt with the run the entire game. They have kept to the run, kept to the run, but there's nothing they can do now. They have got to throw the ball. Everson drops back. He's looking. He throws, and that is complete to Bryant. Bryant gets out of bounds at the 50-yard line. 
Had some time. Good throw. Jeremy Everson has done what you need him to do. They, it was the, it was the game planning that this is the game calling that actually took him out of this game. He's 22, 22 for uh, 17 for 22 is, is very good. 187 yards, and that's about what he's been able to do. And there's a throw, and that is caught by Ramsey's, and I think he got out of bounds there. Once again, very good pass. 18 for 23. That Everson played his game. I, he did show up this, this time. He definitely showed up and did what he was supposed to do. On the 33-yard line, minute 36 left to go. Florida down by 11, trying 12, trying to make a comeback here. And that's a throw to the tight end. He's going to turn it upfield, gets inside the 20, and gets out of bounds with a minute 29 left to go. Anthony Brooks, I think it was his third reception of the day. That was a big turn, a big block by Bryant coming back to, to block the defender. Sprung him for a nice 15-yard gain. Florida now gets the ball inside the Texas 19-yard line. They're, they're attempting to come back. They're not going to say die here. Emerson tries to go for Brooks, just barely catches it. Now they got to get up to the line of scrimmage. Now they got to get up to the line of scrimmage. He didn't get the first down. First time in all this drive that the clock is run without a first down or getting out of bounds. Emerson, the shotgun. He looks, he throws, and that's Bryant in the end zone for the touchdown. So Everson, it's all Everson this drive. All Everson. Bryant beats his man, and he hits him in, in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. And we are going to see a field, uh, an extra point here. Uh, Two-point two conversion really doesn't do you much. Good. And Florida brings it to within five, and we got the onside kick. And there's not many times this onside kick has actually worked. Florida's got two timeouts. There's the kick, and there's the catch. That's Leon Robinson. That's gonna that should end the game. I know Texas has got two timeouts. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually shocked that Everson led that drive down there so quickly and so easily against the Texas defense. And it's gonna be a quarterback read. Howell's gonna be stood up and thrown down the backfield, and Florida's gonna call a timeout. Second and thirteen. Despite this commentator thinking that the game is over, Florida has just decided that no, this game is not over. Handoff to Smith. He's got a crease, and he's got 12 yards, 14 yards actually, and it's going to be third and three. It will be over if they pick up this first down. 103 left to go in the game. Howell in the background. Smith next to him. Howell's going to throw the ball. Howell's looking, he throws, and it's going to be complete to Larson, and that's the end of the game. Florida could not get enough pressure on, on Howell to knock him off his spot. He sat in the middle of that pocket and delivered a, a, a throw that will end this game. You can see Howell's going to get all the time in the world, enough time for Larson to turn his man completely around and make it to the sidelines for a beautiful catch. All we need now is another kneel down. This game's over. But, of course, they're going to come out in a real formation. So, Florida's got, you know, one shot here to cause a turnover handoff to Smith. And he's going nowhere but holds on to the ball is the most important thing. So, a very exciting first-round game. The number two seed in the South, Texas. Holds on against the number seven seed, Florida, 31-26. Texas will go on to face the winner of Stanford-Auburn in the point set -a bowl Thanks for watching. It's been an exciting game. Everson, you can definitely, he's going to be uh, quarterbacking on Sunday someday. Well, next year, that is. That's all she wrote for Florida. Texas Wide receiving crew goes on, and when they can put up the uh, the points and throw the fireworks up, they oh, they do whatever they can. And I'm stumbling through words. It's absolutely beautiful. Howell throws for 301 yards. 
Beautiful game. Love this game. Definitely was worth the watch for me. I hope it was worth the watch for you. The 32 game test will continue. Remember when the website does come up, the brackets for the actual 2014 season, the college football season that just ended, will be up. You will have well enough time to fill out your brackets and compete to win the bracket challenge. Thanks for watching. More to come later.